Dude, you can't even make this stuff up. I had an entire video completely done about Ryan Garcia going in on this Danielle Bergoli situation. You know, bad baby. Uh, done. Completely done. Ready to go last night. I had to make a choice on which uh, which video to post between that and the Hamzat one. And I posted the Hamzat one. I was going to post the Ryan Garcia one today. And this morning I wake up to this. All right. So uh, last night, apparently, Ryan Garcia broke into his ex's house to see his kids and ended up destroying the entire home. All right. So I'm going to show you guys that video in a second. But... Uh, for, I mean, dude, we got a lot of video left because I got to show the entire video from last night. So we're going to get right into that. I just wanted to say the following. All right. So the video, you need to understand what the rest of this video is going to be before you look at that. Okay. The rest of this video is Ryan Garcia vowing to exact revenge against the dude who beat up Bad Baby, a.k.a. Daniel Bergoli, a.k.a. the Cash Me Outside girl. All right. So he took it on himself to be like, you touch a girl, you're going to deal with me, Ryan Garcia, the hand of justice. Okay. And then that night, this is what happened. All right. So the Daniel Bergoli story is insane for the record. She got her, how many, how long are we into this video? Her, she got worked over. But then this is the same, this is the same Ryan who's going to exact revenge on uh, the dude. Now, Ryan didn't hit this girl, obviously, but, well, I don't know if it's obvious, but he didn't. He did destroy her entire house, though. So uh, there's a lot of information here, so buckle up. All right, so the reason there's no sound at the beginning, when I first started recording this, I was like, why can't I hear anything? And it's because uh, Ryan took the audio out of the beginning of this. So who knows what she's saying, you know? Like, clearly, he didn't want anyone hearing what she said at the beginning of this, but the audio kicks on, like, I don't know, 10 seconds in, so, uh, or 20, whatever. You'll see. Here we go. So, uh, title, when she got caught cheating and broke the baby's bottle, all right? And uh, this is, like, super late at night, so he says she broke the baby's bottle, you can't hear anything, and then the sound is going to start in a second, and I'll stop talking. Harass me, and you called me to have a mental you breakdown on my Olivia. vacation? Can this you is what happens when my... you get caught. Do we what? Look like, at her, look at her. Do we what? Bro, we got Happy the friends? messages. George said you were a girl that you got bored with. I had Bro, a friend. He's a stupid. fucking friend. You guys are gay as fuck. Look at He's stupid. gay. He's gay, huh? Hey, he's gay. He's gay, huh? Uh, I don't think Ryan's crazy enough to uh, misunderstand those messages, and that's what every girl says when she got caught by, you know, a random dude, you know. But at the same time, uh, are they in a committed relationship? So let's continue. Uh, but the whole like, oh, I had a gay friend thing. Okay. Fuck that fucking guy. So I don't care. That's you guys cool. are fucking gay at the end of the day. Suck each other's dick. He's talking shit about his bug mother of his child. And this motherfucker's a- Oh, 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 okay. I misunderstood her. She was saying that they did that to each other. All right. So now check this out. So this is her blowing up Ryan Garcia. So she says, after I blocked, uh, blocked him from his original number because he was calling me names okay so they are definitely not in a committed relationship by the way uh i decided that i was just gonna move forward with my lawyers handling visitation since he can't handle being nice and stop harassing me ryan needs to focus on getting sober i do not want anyone who is always under the influence around my children and causing harm and destroying our home physically uh has destroyed all of our tvs has broken everything in my house because he acts like a child dude this is a walk in the park compared to where what Danielle Bergoli's dealing with, though. Just for the record, like when we get done with this story and you see what bad baby's dealing with, like it could be a lot worse, you know? Like this is co totally crazy what Ryan did, but it can definitely be worse because, uh, like I told you later in the video, you see Danielle Bergoli get beat down. Uh, okay, so this is her showing that, uh, you know, Ryan has like calls a million times, 1150, 1150, 1149, 1149, nine minutes ago. Okay, so like when Ryan is done partying, he wants to be a father. This is how he reacts if I don't answer within minutes. Okay. And then I'm supposed to co-parent under these circumstances, under this circumstances, man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go crazy. Hello, bitch, I hate you. Bitch, I slid 14K. <laughs> Oh, man, I love watching incoherent, uh, dramatic children um, try to work through these things. You know, it's like uh, he's all trying to get her to pick up. She won't pick up the phone. Bitch, I had sex with 14,000 14, girls. You're all, oh, that's going to work. Hey, that's going to work, dude. Uh, you are a hua. Let's, let's go. I know you at Miami. You got me effed up. I'm going to eff you up. I'm going to find you. F yourself. Hello, hello. Jeez, man. I, I mean, and the story I tell at the end of this video, okay, so I go, this story, Daniel Bergoli, and then a story about 
a situation that I was involved. Well, I wasn't involved involved, but like of like a dude and a girl getting in like a physical fight. It's this is like this is exactly what it's like. Okay. Let's continue. All right. So this is what Ryan did to her house. Destroyed. He destroyed her house, man. This is crazy town. All right. So slandering my name when I've been nothing but forgiving. If you love and support Ryan, you would encourage him to get help. Enough is enough. This man is not stable and it's clear he is struggling. Okay. Uh, so now that I've been super patient and have tried to get him help uh, myself since everything I did failed, now I, I now put my foot down and decided that he will need to see his children with supervision and through the lawyers because I cannot mentally keep up with this anymore. And you can see up here in the corner, Ryan has the... That's Ryan with the like trampoline over his head and he's about to smash it on something. So, and this is all already like he came in and like just smashed all the plants. And uh, anyway, so, uh, so that's what Ryan was doing last night. Okay. So I did a video about Ryan being like, I won't stand for girls getting beat up by dudes. And that's what it is. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to post this Hamzat video first. And then between now and then Ryan's all, my baby's mama is talking to another guy. You're all, are you guys together? He's like, no, no, not at all. It's like, all right, well then she's allowed to talk to other guys. So no, she's not. I'm going to go destroy her entire house. So uh, that's what that is. There's that story. So now you can get into the Danielle Bergoli story that this is like an entirely other video that was already going to get posted today. Speaking of which, uh, actually, I'm not even going to say anything about that. Not even going to say anything about that. Anyway, so get into this, uh, get into the Daniel Bagroy story, and then another one about a girl getting beat up. You guys will uh, not getting beat up. That's not what happened. Anyway, but uh, enjoy. So of all of the lowdown things a person can do, what's the what's the worst thing they can do? I mean, there's, well, there's a lot of things that are probably worse, but certainly high up on the list is beating up a girl. You know, if you're a big dude, beating up a girl is way high on the list even if she is super ghetto and almost certainly has, uh, you know, behaved in a way that would infuriate anyone, you still can't beat them up, man. You just can't beat them up. That's not a thing you can do. Uh, and Ryan Garcia shared some images and a video of Danielle Bregoli, who, if you do not know that name right out of the ba uh, right out of the gate, that's Bad Baby, aka the Cash Me Outside girl. So, um, you know, I think it's fair to say that. Uh, if beating up girls was allowed, uh, I'm sure that she would have done things that you could say like, well, you know, <laughs> if you're going to beat up a girl, like, you know, like have you heard the mouth on that girl, you know, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter what a girl says to you. You can't beat them up. Not a thing that you can do. So, uh, she got her, uh, she got her behind how far into this video are we? She got her ass kicked by her uh by her boyfriend and baby daddy on this video and in these and these pictures show the aftermath. Like, dude, we're not talking uh and I'll show you guys the pictures. Obviously, I'm gonna show you as much of it as I can without getting the video demonetized. But um, I mean, listen, dude, you can like, you know, if, if you slap a girl, it doesn't do this, dude. Okay, like a person's face does not look like that if you slap them, even if you slap them as hard as you can. Like this guy put it on her. Her face is I mean, her eyes are swollen shut. So Ryan Garcia, um, he had some things to say about that. And he has promised to be the guy that exacts revenge on the dude. So we're going to definitely talk about that case. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. But first, I'm going to say this. we got to take a vote, man. If you think that beating up girls, if you're a dude, is trash, then vote yes by liking this video. And also... If you have not subscribed to the channel, you can double vote for yes by subscribing to the channel and liking the video. So I appreciate you guys doing that very, very much. I also want to thank the sponsor of this video, Sheath Underwear. We haven't done this in a month, two months, but today I am letting you know in July, we are doing a pair of Jordans for anybody who buys anything from the Sheath website and emails me a receipt. So you go to Sheath underwear.com they have the best underwear they got they got awesome t-shirts they've got all kinds of gear they got stuff for girls they got thongs for girls so you buy anything on the sheath underwear uh website and use promo code fire take the receipt and you send that to real jesse on fire gmail you get a huge discount with the fire promo code and uh and you shoot that over to me and I'm going to be buying a pair of J's for some lucky winner. I have only announced this right now, so I have zero entries. So you will be first. All right, so we're going to get right into this story. We're going to look at the uh, Daniel Bergoli story, Ryan Garcia exacting or vowing to exact revenge. Then I'm going to tell you a couple stories that I know from, uh, you know, from back in the day of girls getting hit 
uh, than like what we did, you know, like, like me being physically there, you know, what happened, a couple of those stories. And then I'll tell you a story about uh, a girl getting slapped that I think is the funniest story ever. But the only reason it's funny is because I know both the girl and the dude. And uh, I think I can tell that story, dude. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll tell it. And then if it sounds totally insane when I watch it back, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get into it. Um, so here is the deal. Bad Baby, a.k.a. the Cash Me Outside girl, is rich. Now, anybody who's ever struggled financially, which I assume is everybody, but uh, I guess if someone is struggling financially now, I suggest you sit down and hold on to something because you are going to want to hurt someone when you hear the thing that is about to come out of my mouth. So if you remember, cash me outside. Hey, cash me outside. How about that? How about that? That girl in 2021. Now she was 13 when that happened. Okay. 13. When she turned 18 in 2021, she launched in OnlyFans. All right. And guess how much money she made in 2021. This is again, sit down. $49 million. She made $49 million in 2021. Okay. So you person who watches my channel and going off the demographics, a grown up, right? Like a grown up person. And if you like my stuff, probably a pretty smart one. And there are lots of us, you know, smart guys who have gone through serious financial strife before. And if they're going through it now, I would imagine the idea of that stupid fucking girl making $50 million in a year for showing not even nudity that would infuriate you when I was struggling financially that would have uh, that would have infuriated me on a level that actually is hard to even consider but that girl right uh so she has a baby dad right she's got a baby's dad as as one would who is you know the cash me outside girl what do you think she was married you think she got married no she has a baby's dad okay and uh, I would imagine that uh, one of the main drivers of being together with her is she has a lot of money, right? But usually these ghetto guys, probably not super secure about that, you know? Like, they don't really love the fact that the money is hers and not theirs, and so they spaz out. And in this case, shocker, she chose a dude to father her child who beat the living shit out of her. Who would have ever guessed? Hey, if I was thinking of celebrities and it was like, so let's make a list of people you think are most likely to be assaulted by a man that they repro uh, you know, they procreated with. Like, let's just start from the top. Danielle Bergoli, uh, the Cash Me Outside girl, has no dad, screamed Cash Me Outside on uh, Dr. Phil. She has a child with uh, a gentleman who is definitely very ghetto. Like, uh, what do you think? I'd be like, top of the list. Top of the goddamn list. And we were not incorrect. All right. So Ryan Garcia, the, nonetheless, you're not allowed to beat up girls. And you're certainly not to, allowed to beat up a girl who's that rich. You fucking idiot. Okay. You fucking idiot. Why didn't you just chill, dude? You probably could have got her to marry you. She's dumb. She's dumb as a box of fucking rocks. Okay. You know how usually like the girls are trying to trap the guy and the, you know, the gold digger, whatever. You're older than her. You guys have a kid together. All you had to do is just be nice. You know, just be nice. Not don't don't play pimps up, hose down for the next however long. Convince her that you love her more than anything in the world and get a ring on her finger and you would not probably get a, you know, I, I would imagine there probably wouldn't be a prenup, you know, probably wouldn't be a prenup because she's not smart enough for that. And guess what? You've been locked in. But no, you beat the living shit out of her instead, and now you're probably going to jail. So uh, anyway, I'm going to play this video of what happened, and then we're going to look at the uh, her face afterwards. Okay? Pretty gnarly. We'll look at that again. But here's the, here's the video. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show this whole thing, but here's the video. This is like a ring video. So he's yelling at her right there, yelling at her, and then this is where you see like they like kind of barge into the frame. You don't really see it very well right there. But, uh, and then she says, this man think he gonna take my daughter from me, say whatever you want, but trying to take my baby is crazy. Well, if I know my, uh, you know, thought process of dudes like that, 
he's probably thinking, take the baby and then get child support from Richie Rich that I stuck a baby in, you know? But listen, dude, you know what's much more, uh, you know, financially productive than that is if you married her, except you would have had to be nice, you know? See, 48 laws of power, that kind of thing, you know, like people who are strategists, like people who actually think strategically know that playing it hard all the time is not what a smart person does. It's not what a, it's not what a real gangster is. If you only got one speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not cool, dude. You play the long game, dude. $49 million in one year and you couldn't be nice? Get this dumbass to marry you? You're an idiot. All right, so now, um, so this is, uh, this is the outcome. And by the way, Ryan said he's banned from boxing, but not from beating his ass. And then Ryan came with the lowest hanging fruit joke of all time. I got you, Danielle. Just let me cash that guy outside. Bam, son. Bam. So I respect Ryan for throwing this up because I think men who beat up women should get mopped. You know? Especially like as much as she probably has a mouth on her. You know this girl's four foot eleven. Okay? Danielle Bergoli's four foot eleven, dude. That's a tiny little girl, dude. 4'11? I like them small. I've never dated a girl that was under five foot. Gabrielle's 5'3, barely. Barely. I had two girlfriends like when I was really like when I was like 21, and then the one I was together with before I met Gabrielle, they were both five foot. That's small, dude. That is small. Okay. You could have 10 of those girls and put them in the cage and be like, all right, all right, ladies. Get ready. Here we go. Oh, oh, come on, girls. Here we go. Oh, wow. Whoa. You are, you're moving fast. Wow. You are strong. Whoa, oh, 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 I got your arms. Oh, no, I'm getting kicked from the sides. Look at you. Number two, number three, number four. You guys are trying real hard. Look at real hard. Wow. Smack. Unconscious. Oh, oh, oh. Dead. Okay. Like 10 on one. They have no chance. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. None. So you, as a big dude, uh, beating up one of them because she made you mad? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh, now, there is a time when I might have said, look, dude, uh, this girl, this girl right here, she might have been fun to toss around a little bit, but I don't know. You know, it's a little too ghetto for me. And lately... Eh, you know what I mean? I don't know. She doesn't really, just doesn't do it for me, dude. She's a little bit ghetto. Uh, she had body a little bit for a while. That's probably why she made $50 million. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. Oh my God, she signed a reality television deal. Oh, never mind. That's 2017. Okay, look. So now let me tell you a couple stories. I will lead off. I'll lead off with the story that I alluded to when I told you it was funny. All right. So, I. <laughs> I don't know, like, if this is going to be, like, I, I don't think you guys will be able to understand why this is so funny without me kind of giving some backstory. Okay, like, my roommate and best friend is, I love this dude. His girlfriend, I also love very much. She's awesome. But those two together were, like, uh, battery acid and, like, all, that's going to be a weird, uh, I was going to say battery acid and olive oil. What? Uh, fire and water, like, you know, they just, they were constantly fighting. Absolutely constantly. And that's because she defaults to jealousy uh and he was a cheater so you know there's that right like he was a cheater and she was naturally jealous and so once uh once guys gotten caught you know being shady or a girl um man if you're in a college town things are gonna get ugly all the time because the guy's like okay yeah i'm gonna go do whatever and then i'll meet you later and in the girl's mind she's all he's going to have sex with another girl and so why why are you gonna meet me later he's like i don't we have a thing at the fraternity so okay and she doesn't want to say out loud what she's thinking because she knows it's crazy you know she knows it's crazy but at the same time she can't help but assume that there's a possibility he might be lying to her and he's going to go dip in some other girl because why would she not think that? What did he tell her was going on last time? You know, when he did cheat on her, probably something that sounded pretty similar. But if you're his best friend and his roommate and you know what we are actually going to do is a fucking two on two basketball tournament. 
and she's wigging out on him about being a part of the two on two basketball tournament, you're like, I hate this girl, dude. I can't like I, I can't. I can't. Okay, we're we're like we're playing NBA Street, dude. You just get like just get her off the phone, man. Get her off the fucking phone. We're in the middle of a game. Oh no, just two seconds, dude. Lock himself in his room. Just go. Just stop. Just stop. Please. Just stop. I can't do this today. Every single day. Okay. One time he got so fed up with her that he hung up the phone and turned his phone off. Now we were going to eat Mongolian barbecue. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, had Mongolian barbecue. He's like, where you go and you fill up your, your bowl and then you take it, you put sauce in it, whatever. And then they kind of spread it out on this huge circular like grill. So we were, literally, that's what we were going to do. And she was being completely crazy about it because she had something she had to go do. And I don't know. I don't like having to go do things. It's possible that he might, you know, put his mouth on another girl's JJ. So he finally hangs up on her, turns his phone off. Okay. Well, that, he, that's not something that he did very often because obviously she was going to completely wig out. So we get in the car, me, him, and uh, two other guys. We go, we do Mongolian barbecue. By the time we're in the middle of our actual meal, she's blowing me up. And I'm like, she's calling me, dude. She's calling me. And he's like, don't answer. I'm like, all right. So I know she is, uh, now she is positive that he has some girl bent over something, you know? He's eating Mongolian barbecue with me and two of our guy friends. So on the way home, right? We're driving home. She drives by us. She's out looking for him. Okay. So we're like, I'm like, when we saw her, like my two buddies in the back, Nick and Jason, they're like, oh shit. I'm like, she looked right at me. And he's like, they're all dude, just drop us off, man. Just drop us off. Cause they know, like they know. So I take them to their place, drop them off. We go to our place. I go inside. I'm like, what's like, what are we doing? He's all lock the door. Now, keep in mind, he does not want to lock her out. He thinks like he's putting on a show for me. And I'm like, dude, let's just, let's just not, man. Like you don't, you don't need to do this, man. He's all, no, man, she needs to learn. And I'm like, oh God. All right, dude. (laughs) All right, if that's what we're doing here. So he locks the door. Since she's not like she's not my girl, I got no control here. I just have to just go along for the ride. So I lay on the couch. Okay. Now I'm next to the window that is parallel to like where the street is and the front door. So I'm laying on the couch. She pulls up. I'm like, she's here, dude. She knocks on the door. He doesn't answer. She pounds on the door. He doesn't answer. She starts screaming, Mike, I know you're in there. And I'm like, and I'm saying to him, I'm like, are you really doing this? And then I look up, like, so I'm like, I'm talking to him. He's over across the room. I'm like, are, you, are we really doing this? And I look up and there's like a slit in the, you know, in the blinds that's like this big. And she's literally, her eyeball is in it. And she's looking right at me. Like, and I was like, oh. <laughs> it was one of the scariest moments of my life. Cause I didn't realize she had walked over there. I looked up and it was like, you know, like in Jurassic Park, it's all, yeah. And I just got up. I'm like, she saw me. And he's like, I know she knows we're in here. I'm like, okay, now you're making me an accessory to this dude. So then she starts kicking the door. Now she's mad. She's fucking mad kicking the door. So like, you know how these things kind of tend to go where a person gets really mad. They freak out. But then at a certain point where anger has not gotten them to the result that they wanted, they break and then they get sad. So we went through that. She's kicking the door, kicking the door, screaming at him, screaming at him. And then, you know, a little, you know, soon afterwards, she's got her back against the door and she's crying out in the front yard. So I'm like, dude, I am going in my room, handle this however you want. So, you know, she comes in and whatever. So that's just like one day. Like that's, that's what these two are like. And I give you that as backdrop so that you understand the following story where she got slapped. Okay. So (laughs) those two were out partying. Everybody's been drinking. Uh, I think we were at our fraternity house. So like everybody's been drinking all night. She comes there at like 11 o'clock, which is early, like late, but early, right? Like no one's going home anytime soon. She came over on one. I have no idea what had happened earlier, but she was mad as fuck. Like she was really mad. So she came walking up. I saw her from the front yard and I said, and like to our other, you know, he wasn't with me, but to my other brothers, I was like, Hey dude, look at her right now. I was like, bro. He is in for a fucking nightmarish night. She looked super hot too. She had like a like she had like a a shirt that went down to here, 
like uh, half her midriff exposed. She's smoking body, but we, I, I'm like, normally you see that walking up and you know it's your boys. You'd be all, damn, that lucky motherfucker. It's the exact opposite, dude. She came walking up looking like a fucking piece of dynamite with the fuse lit. And we were like, so we already knew in advance this is going to be a rough night for him. So she like, you know, comes in beelines, does not say hi to any of us, just goes right, you know, looking around for him. So they end up leaving very soon after because he's making a fucking scene at the fraternity. They leave, whatever. So I find out from him that what happened, okay, so this is this is how this night goes. So they're walking home. She's screaming at him the entire way, okay? Screaming at him, punching him, slapping him. She's wasted. I He didn't even do anything either. She just had like, you know, like this is like a, this is just like him being kind of nasty through text message. Like it's not like she like found something out. There's no like incident that would, that would, you know, like lead her to be this angry other than she doesn't trust him. Okay. She doesn't trust him at all. And whatever, they just got into it. So they get back to our house and he's lost his key. Okay. So like he can't open the front door. So he's trying to open the front door. He says, Jimmy, it can't. He calls me. He's like, dude, I lost my key. Can you come home and let me in? I'm like, fuck no, dude. Go just go jump the fence. Cause you could get in through our back sliding glass door I'm like, I'm 99% sure that the sliding glass door to my room is open, right? So he's like, all right. So he goes and does that. He jumps over the fence, opens the sliding glass door, goes through the house. And during that time, you know, it takes a little while. During that time, she is out front of the door with smoke coming out of her ears, dude. Like she's so mad. He had another, again, this is based on nothing. So he finally, after all that, and he he opens the door, and the second that he opens the door, she and she just lights him up, punches him in the mouth. <laughs> so like he just went like goes and opens the door, and like he's just gone through all the you know, opens and she just punched him straight in the mouth. And he said, he's like, dude, I don't know what happened on straight up autopilot. I just went whoop, and smacked her face. And I'm like, I don't know why that is so funny to me, but like it just is, dude. Because I, I know him so well. Like, the guy, it's the only time that anything like that's ever happened his entire life. He's, like, the least likely person to hit a girl ever. It just was, like, I mean, he fights dudes. But, like, uh, the, the this is impossible that he would ever, like, maliciously hit a girl. It's just, she just, like, he, he autos on drunk autopilot, punched in the mouth, and just, like, immediately responded. This is the same guy. If you've ever heard me tell the story about... Uh, where I got in a fight with a dude who broke my best friend's nose, same guy, right? <clears throat> so, and the same girl in the fight that led to that whole fight happening. So he smacks her back and then she, you know, goes, <laughs> I, I think this is why I think this is so funny is because I can visualize both of them and the way he tells the story is so funny. So he is like, I'm sorry. He's like, Jesus, he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He picks her up, you know, brings her inside. She acts all like, at first. So then when they get inside, she smacks him again. Like she like pretends to be sad and then she smacks him again and he fucking grabs her arms and then holds her on the ground. He's like, chill. He's like, stop. He's like, stop. And she's like, Aah! So he said that like he held like her arm, her hands, you're like her, both her wrists with one hand. And then he put his hand like, you know, like kind of like on her, like here, you know, like it wasn't like choking her, but he's holding her down with like by her neck because he's trying to control the wrists and then keep her down. Cause she's going nuts. So he's holding her down and he's holding onto her wrist. And he said that she looked up at him while he had his hands on her, on her neck. And she's all do it. Just do it. And he's like, do what? And she's all, just kill me. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to get you to stop hitting me. And he said that she just looked at him. <laughs> he said that she just had one tear. It was like, like, it's so fucking absurd. He would never hurt a girl, dude. Like, that's what I'm talking about. He's like, he's a, literally a teddy bear. I lived with this dude for fucking seven years. Like, he would never hurt a girl. He is, he's like, I was just trying to like restrain her because she kept hitting me. He's like, so I was holding her down and she's like, do it. And I'm like, do what? So just kill me. I don't know if that sounds funny to anybody else, but to me, that's the funniest shit ever. I still laugh every time I fucking think about it. It was like 20 years ago, dude. I've laughed every time I've thought of the, of fucking do it for the last, if I called him right now and I was just like, 
do it. And he would just, he would, his response would be one tear. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, dude. Anyway, uh, that story took way more time than I expected, but uh, that's the only time that I've ever heard of a dude smacking a girl where I thought it was funny. So that's what it is. Don't punch guys, dude. You don't want to get hit. Don't punch guys. Uh, anyway, that's the story for today. I love you guys. Goodbye.